Welcome to English and German Diction for Singers. I am Amanda Johnson. Today we are going to talk about the difference between esch and ich. Esch involves a protrusion of the lips, and the position of the tongue is very different. The tip of the tongue does not touch the bottom teeth at all. In fact, it floats in the mouth and retracts. It is identical in English and in German. By contrast, the ich laut, the tip of the tongue is at the bottom teeth and it arches into closed eye position. E. We don't actually say closed eye, but it starts there. When the tongue is this high, it creates a bit of a funnel for the air to collect before it releases at the alveolar ridge. Ich, ich. Esch feels full and builds up in sound. Ich feels thin and focused. Ich, sh, sh, sh. As you can hear and see, they are completely different. So let's take a look now at an exercise. Chapter 14. Page 165. Here we have words that end in the ich laut and those that end in the esch laut. Then we have words that combine both phonemes together. Good luck with this one. Take your time. Another thing to notice before we start when you have I in front of CH for the ich laut, that I is in between closed and open. So, for example, the word mich is in between, even though it is written as a small capital I indicating open. So, words like mich and mish, although written identically in IPA for the vowel, represent a different sound. Keep that in mind as we go through these words. Wich, wisch. Schüchtern, stich. Mich, misch. Sprich, sprechen. Dich, Tisch, sprichst, schrecklich. How are you doing so far? <laughs> Keuche, Keusche, Storch, Spaltig. Here's my personal favorite. Fürchte. Forschen, schmeicheln, geschmeidig, durch, dusche, stämmig, schmerzlich. Excellent work! 